fans, we're always looking for the next sports movie to inspire us. Well, I've gotten for you. Black Jack, the Jackie Ryan story about streetball legend and Brooklyn native Jack Ryan is now streaming on most platforms and in theaters that are open to limited moviegoers. Exactly one year ago, I caught up with Jack Ryan and movie maker Danny A. Avicasser just as they wrapped filming this movie. It's a dream come true for both of them, for Ryan to tell his story of coming from a dark place in his life to finding his purpose, and for Danny A., an up-and-coming filmmaker, to produce a biopic on one of his idols. I got a trial with the Nets. Fitch wants to take a look. I'm wondering if you can put in the work. Look, I'm him out here is saying as your local guy, you know how it is, put him to work for me. Sure, yeah. I'll see what I could do. We could always use a backup. If you were a fan of streetball in the 80s and ever took in a game at the West 4th Street Courts, you know Jack Ryan. Or Black Jack, the flamboyant, rebellious, sharp shooter with a sharp tongue from Brooklyn. But that's not the real Jack Ryan. That's actor Greg Finley, who plays Ryan in the new movie, Black Jack, the Jackie Ryan story. It's hard for me to watch because the guy Greg did such a great job playing me. Um, and it brought me back to that time when I was not doing too good. How could Finley not do a great job acting? Jack Ryan himself was on the set for most of the making of this film during the summer of 2019. Just like the other day, when Fox 5 met up with the New York City-based actors from the cast of Black Jack, and where else? The West 4th Street Courts. And of course, Jack Ryan showed up, and he brought his daughter Morgan. Oh, this is this is my home away from home. It's my backyard. Brooklyn native James Matteo plays Ryan's best friend in the movie, Marty Doyle. Because according to Jackie, Marty was uh, uh, an Irish fellow. So for me, it, I, I'm a small Italian guy, so different. So I'd approach it differently, you know. I, you always want to do justice when you're portraying a, a real character. Uh, but the research was more just the way I grew up and who I grew up with and who I grew up around. There's a scene where Jack and his friend Marty get into a bar fight with a guy from the neighborhood, Dina, played by former New York Rangers winger Sean Avery, who said he did have to channel the agitator he was during his playing days. I say, like, just hit me and we'll get it over with. And it's quick, and we don't have to try and get the angle right and fake a punch. And, you know, when you say that to people, certainly nowadays on a movie set, they get a little bit nervous. So we worked it out. Listen, when you got to improvise what it, a hockey player and someone whose mission was to just up on the ice, uh, it's intimidating, you know, because I got to say some choice words to him. In real life, Ryan would have never had a chance to try out for the New Jersey Nets if it wasn't for the support of longtime New York Post basketball columnist Peter Vesey, played by Jeffrey Cantor. He didn't say that he discovered Jackie, but he sort of saw Jackie the way nobody else did, and and saw a, one of the purest basketball players. I mean, he, that's what he, he spoke about him like that. It, it was just a pure basketball talent. He'd never seen anything like it, and he had connections with every basketball team in the country, of course, but certainly with the New York area teams, and so he made the call. So that, that part of the story is absolutely true. Ashley Green plays Jenny Burke, based on Jack's off-again, on-again girlfriend, Jennifer DiMaggio, who Jack eventually married. She was a two-time All-American basketball player at Pace University, and while Jack and Jennifer are no longer together, 16 years ago, they had a daughter. Morgan. I know the true story and the movie, I was watching it and I know it's a little different and I know I can tell he was upset by the way that they portray him because he's he's a good guy. He's not like that. But I understand it's all for the movie and after I watched it, I mean it's a great movie. I loved it. Like any movie, Blackjack, the Jackie Ryan story takes its creative liberties. And while it was a dark time in Jack Ryan's life, when he returns here to the West 4th Street courts and plays in a cage with his old buddies and now his daughter, he absolutely lights up. A boy Smush Park is here, Bob, you know, if this was in the middle of the summer, there'd be a lot more of my friends here. That, you know, a lot of times I come here just not to play, just to see my old buddies. Ryan's old buddies include his Brooklyn College basketball coach, Ted Gustis, former NBA player Smush Parker, and music producer Angelo Velasquez, all still close with Ryan from the relationships they built at the West 4th Street Courts. And it's scenes like this, playing basketball on the streets of New York, that inspired producer-director Danny A. Abacasser 
to make this movie. Danny is a, uh, a Brooklyn kid. I think he was born in Israel, but grew up in Brooklyn. Played high school basketball. Averaged 26 points a game, like I did as a senior in high school. So Danny loves his passion, his basketball, and making films. So, you know, he really believed in this project, and, you know, he did a great job. And, you know, the world's going to get to see that, you know, it's never too late, and you're never too old, and find your purpose in life, and we'll be happy. Actress Tara Westwood plays Jack's mother, alongside David Arquette, who plays his father. Westwood sees what draws people to Ryan's story. In his younger years, Jackie made some poor choices, and then he, he turned a new corner and, and opened a new chapter, and I feel that that's why people are coming. And what's important to know is that Jackie made very different life choices, and now he has a career that he enjoys where he gets to make young children happy, and he's very close to his daughter, and I, I look at that as such an inspirational story. If you see this court in the summertime, you walk by and it's full, you feel the energy. So I'm sure 20 years ago,